Hello everyone, the sun has left my face, it has gone away, it is night time now and I just got out of my second experience, movie experience of the day. This one is a concert film that I've been excited to see for a few months now. The concert film is called Roger Waters' The Wall and never been to a Pink Floyd or Roger Waters concert in my entire life and this is probably the closest that is ever going to happen. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever go on tour again. If he does, I'm going to try really hard to get tickets because after this amazing experience, experiencing this concert film slash a little bit of... There's a story being told here with, Ro uh, with Roger and his family and his experiences in his life dealing with the death of his great-grandfather and the death of his father and so we get a little bit of that and then we get to see concert footage of I can't I don't know what year that was a few years back uh, where he traveled the world with the wall and there's footage of him in Athens and maybe Brazil and some other countries I am a huge fan of Pink Floyd. For almost 20 years, I have been a fan of this group, of Roger, of David, of Nick, of Richard. Ever since I was introduced to Pink Floyd The Wall while I was working at Blockbuster Video. In 1996, I got a job working at Blockbuster Video and I was working there for a few months and I was incorporated to a lot of great music thanks to my family, thanks to the radio and stuff like that, stuff I still like today. But in 1996, while we were cleaning the store after it had closed, one of my coworkers said, you know, we were allowed to watch a movie or let, let a movie play as we clean, something to listen to instead of the tape that we had to listen to every day, like this tape, standard tape that Blockbuster would put in. And so he wanted this coworker said, hey, let's play Pink Floyd, The Wall, the film directed by Alan Parker. And I never really heard of Pink Floyd before that. Um, so I was like, sure, put it in. And that night, I experienced Pink Floyd The Wall, mainly just the music. Not really the images, because I had to clean the store and stuff. But listening to that music, and not fully understanding everything that the band was talking about, but just appreciating the music first. And it's been 20 years, and I would say that I, I don't understand everything that uh, Pink Floyd and Roger Waters were talking about. I, I get more as I get older, but the music has always stayed with me. And I've always loved to discover new bands, new kinds of music. I'm, I'm not too picky when it comes to my music. Uh, there's a few kinds of music I don't like to listen to. But for 20 years, I, can't, I, 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 I think I've come to this conclusion. Maybe it'll change years from now. I'm, I'm 38, years, 38 years old right now. And Pink Floyd is a band, a group, the concept albums, The Wall, Dark Side of the Moon. All these albums, I can just listen over and over. I've never gotten tired. Like some music I kind of get tired of listening to over and over and over again. But when it comes to Pink Floyd, I, just, I never really get tired of the amazing use of instruments and musicians and singers and the talent and the words and the lyrics and the message. I just never, it never gets old. I don't, I, just think, I think that's what the miracle of Pink Floyd and, and Roger Waters and the rest of the group is. And, and, so, and there's a lot of great music out there that, that I definitely would classify as music that never gets old, that'll never die. Uh, but for me, Pink Floyd, I've really come to the conclusion that they're my favorite band of all time. They're the best band of all time. Roger Waters and David Gilmour, some of the best frontmans of all time. Nick Mason and Richard Wright. Just a wonderful, amazing collaboration that we had for so many years. And again, I, I'm not an aficionado, I'm not a connoisseur of everything Pink Floyd. But I like to consider myself a diehard fan. Someone that would love to see 
the wall or dark side of the moon completely played by some member, living member of the band, Richard Wright, rest in peace. Uh, but this is amazing. This is if this is close that I'm going to get to seeing a concert of Pink Floyd, then it was definitely rewarding. It was an amazing concert film, amazing art direction, amazing visuals. Uh, I, I, I love the you know I've heard so many stories about the concert and the building of the wall and the breaking of the wall. It was awesome to see it on screen. And at the same time, you know, uh, Roger's getting a little self-indulgent when he's going on this like car ride uh, around the, the world and visiting very important things to him. I, I admire that. Uh, and I, 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 you know, I cut him, cut him to slack because, you know, this is how he's dealing with his past and moving on and helping people in the process to deal with their own walls that they've built up. And when I think about it, I think when I turned 18, the wall that I had built around myself for so many years had was starting to fall down. My my wall of insecurity and of shyness and many other just things that just I tried to block people out of my life. And that wall is just the last 20 years has really just come down and I've been able to feel more free, more open as a person, more alive, more happy more positive, and I think that's the ultimate message of Roger Waters' The Wall. That's what I get from it. You might get something different. This was a one-time showing. Uh, I don't know uh, if where it'll be playing next, if it's gonna go to the streaming site, or you can buy the Blu-ray or DVD, but if you're a Pink Floyd fan and you didn't have a chance, or Ro Roger Waters' The Wall, and you didn't get a chance to see this live a few years back, this is definitely something worth searching out. Uh, it was pretty damn incredible. I really enjoyed it. Really touched my soul. And um, I, I've said I've said a lot here, so in the comment box below, now share your feelings of Pink Floyd and the band. And sorry, one battery died. I apologize. So I'm just going to quickly repeat what I was just trying to say. Please, in the comment box below, share your feelings uh, about. Pink Floyd, your favorite songs, your favorite albums. Did you see this concert film in the theater tonight? Have you seen them in concert before? Pink Floyd, when they were all together, were all, when they were all alive. Have you seen this recent concert live itself? Share your feelings. I'd like to hear about that. Talk to you later. Appreciate you watching. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.